Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Encinitas. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, October 1st. You'll be interested to know, 53 years ago, today in 1971, the Walt Disney World Resort, a complex near Orlando, Florida, that features attractions based on the stories and characters created by the Disney company, opened. So now you know. And now, it's time for the surf report. Expect knee-high swell on Tuesday with thigh-high sets possible. Conditions will be glassy in the morning with light offshore winds becoming semi-choppy in the afternoon as winds shift to onshore. Wednesday and Thursday morning will also feature glassy conditions, transitioning to semi-choppy in the afternoons with onshore winds. On Friday, expect waist-high swell with glassy mornings and semi-bumpy afternoons. Tuesday in Encinitas and North County. It's looking clean to fair at two feet until noon. After that, it's looking pretty choppy in the afternoon but should turn fair for a sunset session. Best time to ride is at 7 a.m. with a three and a half foot incoming high tide when the north-northwest swell is one feet at 13 seconds and the variable wind is three mile per hour. The first high tide Tuesday will be five foot at 9.15 a.m. with a one foot low tide at 3.15. The near shore buoy at Beacons reads 62 degrees for the water temperature. This morning, it's patchy fog and feels like 65 degrees with no wind. The sunset will take place at 632 and it will rise again tomorrow at 643. It looks like we're in for some patchy fog this morning, clearing up for mostly sunny skies with a high near 70. A light northwest breeze will be around five to 10. Tonight, expect partly cloudy conditions with a low around 66 and light winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect patchy fog each morning through Saturday, clearing by mid-morning. Days will be mostly sunny with highs around 72 to 73 degrees. Nights will be mostly cloudy with lows in the mid 60s to upper 60s. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, in a significant change for older drivers, the California Department of Motor Vehicles announced that individuals aged 70 and older will no longer need to take a knowledge test for license renewal. Previously, this test was mandatory once a driver reached 70, but now those without traffic violations can skip it entirely. DMV Director Steve Gordon stated, we are eliminating the written knowledge test to improve customer service. However, first-time drivers and those with poor driving records must still undergo the knowledge test. Officials recommend starting applications online to minimize office visits. Now on to sports. The 12 teams heading into the MLB postseason showcase different strategies for success. The Detroit Tigers and Cleveland Guardians lead with 16 and 15 homegrown players, respectively. The Houston Astros excel in wins above replacement, producing 30.8 from homegrown talent. Meanwhile, the San Diego Padres dominate with 12 trade acquisitions, despite having only three homegrown players. The Los Angeles Dodgers and Philadelphia Phillies also stand out with the Phillies achieving the highest total wins above replacement at 50.1.
These different approaches highlight the many ways to build a winning roster. Tonight, the Houston Astros host the Detroit Tigers at Minute Maid Park, starting at 2.30 Eastern on ABC, with Astros' Framber Valdez facing Tigers' Tarek Skubal. Later, the Baltimore Orioles welcome the Kansas City Royals to Camden Yards at 4 Eastern on ESPN2, where Corbin Burns will face Royals left-hander Cole Reagans. The Milwaukee Brewers take on the New York Mets at American Family Field at 5.30 Eastern on ESPN, with Freddie Peralta pitching against Luis Severino. In local sports, Tonight, the Padres kick off their five-game wildcard series, hosting the Atlanta Braves at Petco Park at 5.30 on ESPN. The Friars' right-hander, Michael King, takes the mound, while the Braves have yet to announce their starting pitcher. Let's go, Padres! In top news, Hurricane Helene has abruptly shifted the narrative of this year's hurricane season which began quietly but has now seen unprecedented storm activity. Helene, a Category 4 storm, slammed into Florida's Big Bend, fueled by exceptionally warm Caribbean waters. Forecasters are already warning of more storms on the horizon. Meteorologists at Colorado State University note that climate change is complicating predictions, with scientists observing an increase in major hurricanes particularly those undergoing rapid intensification. The unusual quiet before Helene's landfall highlights the challenges of forecasting in a warming world. Experts stress the need for careful study of this unpredictable season. In business news, FAIR, a platform for small businesses, experienced a meteoric rise to a valuation of $12 billion but not without facing substantial challenges. Co-founder Max Rhodes reflected on the icky feeling of rapid growth, fueled by venture capital, but leading to slow customer service and operational inefficiencies. As complaints mounted and growth stalled, FAIR's leadership realized they needed to pivot towards sustainable growth. By reevaluating their approach, they focused on building lasting relationships improving their algorithm, and cutting low-quality suppliers. After laying off staff and adjusting their valuation to $5 billion, they aim to foster long-term success while learning from past mistakes. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $63,800. Ethereum is just over $2,600. And Solana is $155. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk science. Scientists at the University of California, Berkeley, have developed a promising method for recycling plastics by vaporizing them. This innovative technique targets two common plastics, polypropylene and polyethylene, which are notoriously difficult to recycle due to their strong carbon bonds. By using catalysts, the researchers can break these bonds, converting the plastics into propylene and isobutylene, valuable gases that can be turned into new plastics. While the process shows great potential, scaling it up will be essential to effectively combat plastic waste. The team emphasizes that reducing reliance on fossil fuel sources could significantly lower greenhouse gas emissions. And in entertainment news, Megalopolis has been released 
and was directed by the legendary Francis Ford Coppola. Featuring a star-studded cast, including Adam Driver, Giancarlo Esposito, and Nathalie Emmanuel, the film explores an alternate future America, where architects, artists, and politicians vie for the soul of a New York-like city. This ambitious, self-funded project with a budget of $120 million blends modern myths with ancient themes. While it may be chaotic and challenging, Coppola's unique vision raises profound questions about the future of America. Time will ultimately reveal its legacy. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American business magnate and philanthropist, John D. Rockefeller. And he said, the ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee, and I will pay more for that ability than for any other under the sun. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Encinitas.